Okay, everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I am like a minute late. I was just sitting here waiting and then I realized my iPad was dead and I hadn't set up my camera stand. So I'm a minute late. Sorry guys, hello, I see you guys jumping on. Okay, so my iPad is dead, of course. So I'm gonna pull you guys up on my laptop um, and see if my iPad will charge. You know, okay, hello, okay, good. It looks like I, who knows, who knows? It has been a day, let me tell you. It has been a day. Um, let's see, I wanna make sure this is muted so we don't hear any backup. Um, it has been a day, I'll just say that. I won't bore you with the details, but it has been quite the day already. I am glad it's Friday and it's yucky and humid and rainy here and gross. <sighs> Hi, Vicki. Good to see you guys. All right. So um, today we're doing the right triangle. And I love the way Stampin' Up! names their stamps 99.9% .9 of the time. But this, for some reason, I can't I keep stumbling over this name, the right triangle. And not just right triangle, but the right triangle. <laughs> I know it's backwards on the screen. And I keep wanting to call it the right angle. Here it is, the right triangle. And I actually opened the catalog, so we, I could tell you it is on page 35. Um, you know, this is one of those that, um, I'm looking at my computer, sorry, I'm sharing this over to my page so people can find it. This is one of those, ooh, I have angry eyes on my share. Do you guys have angry eyes? <laughs> it's one of my trademarks here, I mean, my angry eyes. Um, you, you know, this is one of those bundles that um, at first glance you might think, I don't really know what to do with that. Um, but I'm a little bit obsessed with these triangles, I have to tell you. I don't think I've ever had a triangle die or triangle punch. I don't think I've ever had anything with triangle. I don't know why. Hey, Patty, thank you. Um, so I've already used it once when we did the zebra. And so today I've got three uh, more triangle projects for you. And I actually had some other things in mind. So I'll probably do some more things later on down the road for you guys. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna flip you over this today. I almost said this morning. Is Carla on here? Carla sent me an um, email earlier today. She said, this week has been the longest year ever. And I had to laugh because I feel the same. That's how today feels. Um, okay, I'm gonna flip you guys over real quick. Um, close your eyes. Hi, Susan from Lubbock. So you guys here in South Texas, we've had a spike in our COVID cases. You've probably heard it on the news. Sad. I'm trying to pretend like it's not happening. That's part of why I feel kind of stressed today because we were just hopping along, doing good, and then all of a sudden, Texas got a little cocky, I think. Ugh. So I think this weekend we are gonna have to stick close to home. Um, all right, look, my iPad is open, but it's not, it's not working. Um, okay, so I wanna run through. I have quite a, bun quite a bit of new things to tell you. Um, I can't see your comments. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I try to have this done before I open the live. Um, wow, suddenly my iPad's like giving me all the text messages from like the last month. It hasn't been all that long. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, all right. Um, okay, there's a lot of things to tell you because Monday is the last day of June and there's lots of things that are ending on Monday and a lot of things that are beginning on Tuesday. And this is the last time we'll be live before all that happens. So I'm gonna run through it all real quickly with you. I've told you every week about the um, extra stamp and rewards. Right now, if you spend $250 or your group spends $250, that's the best way I can describe it, you automatically get 25 extra stamp and rewards. If you don't know what stamp and rewards are, Look in the back of your catalog and there's um, a chart and it's kind of um, like, you remember, you remember when we used to do workshops all the time? Well, that's kind of what 
those were, we called them host rewards. Well, now they're just called Stamper Rewards because a lot of people are just shopping online um, and spending that much. So if you spend $250, you would get $25 normally, plus now the extra $25, okay? Okay, I'm, just, I'm not gonna spend too much time on that because we've talked about that many times. Um, the other thing is this, pick a free bundle. We've added 35, now it's higher than that, a couple more since then 35 new sweet stampeders this month incredible um, lots of people are taking advantage of this pick a free bundle when you buy the starter kit the starter kit is $99 uh, you pick out $125 of product anything you want then you add on a free bundle and you're if you're wondering what a bundle is you can look at the back of your catalog and on page starting right here page 173 these are all the dye bundles okay so the like the sunflower dyes and the sunflower stamp set this is just the easiest way really to to find them all and then if you go back a little bit further you'll see the punch bundles right here on page 168 169 so you can get one of those for free with your starter kit starter kit is free shipping um and then you get 20% off all your orders from now until at least the end of September. Um, or you make 20% on all the orders your friends order from you, all right? Okay, there's that. That ends the 30th is the last time I'm gonna tell you about it, okay? Okay, next month we start bonus days. If you have been a Stamp Up customer for a while, you know bonus days are when you earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. So that starts on Tuesday. So we go from one awesome deal to the next. Okay, well done, class to go. I am in love with this class. Um, hopefully you guys saw my post yesterday. This is my new class for July. Um, I mentioned to you guys, if you watched my unboxing, how much I'm obsessed with this paper. I keep saying that today, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with quite a few <laughs> products right now. I love a new catalog, love it. But this is the, um, hello what is it called not well done um well of a time oh great amazon's pulling up oh nope are they gonna keep going okay god they're moving on Whew. um in case you're new here i have very loud schnauzers who like to bark um anyway this paper is gorgeous gorgeous and when i saw it i thought immediately that it would make a beautiful mini album um either for um summer memories or it really reminds me of a children's book so I made this really cute fun mini album it's like a board book and it's really I just am really proud of it I love it and I can't wait to put photos in it we're going back to the beach next month so I'm gonna take lots of beach pictures to put in here um, so this is part of the class to go and it's delivered to your mailbox it's not a local class um, and then there's six cards and you you're gonna get a pack of that designer series paper in your class to go kit um, as well as a bolt of ribbon and a full pack of that paper because you're going to need a full pack of that paper um okay my device is air loading hopefully you guys aren't seeing that on your end okay oh i don't know hopefully you guys are seeing oh are we back are we back are we back i don't know am i frozen <laughs> Okay, I see you guys saying frozen, so I'm not going to end it. I'm going to wait and see if you guys hear me. That's really weird. I've never had that happen before. Hmm. Oh, I can see me now. I can see me. Can you guys see me? Boy, this is going to be a great video to watch and replay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to wait because the comments are pretty delayed. I just want to make sure that I can see you guys and you can see me because there's no use in talking to myself. Let's see. Oh, I'm back now. Am I unfrozen? Karen, Becky, Susan, you can hear me. I'm still here, still here. That was weird. There's only one child at home today using the, the bandwidth. She's playing Fortnite. I hate to kick her off. It said weak connection. I've never seen that before. That was weird. All right, we're going to keep going. Cross your fingers. Weird stuff happened last week to last week's video too. We won't speak of it. Who knows? Okay, class to go. Board book, right? You get this and six 
cards. You're going to get a bolt of ribbon, the pack of paper. Um, you can get it with or without the bundle. You can add on the embossing folder. You can add on stamp and seal plus if you want to try that because that's what I use to make this book. And the class includes the PDF for all the projects as well as a, a pretty long video, 27 minutes. I find that like that's long. <laughs> That's a really long video for me. 27 minutes showing you how exactly to make this cute little um, board book, this mini album, okay? Um, there it is, Kathy. Now, I have uploaded a video over on my blog if you guys want to see. Um, it's so cute, this little board book. Um, it, there's some interactive pieces in it, um, and it's just really fun. And it's really cleverly designed. I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise for those people who buy the class. All right. All right, so Sarah, you're saying, can I start over with my class? Is that what you're asking? Or start over for the whole thing? Um, Lisa, yeah, you're wishing this paper was 12 by 12, but you know what I found is six by six really works. I mean, do, doesn't that look like Ariel's gonna come swimming up? I don't know, it just, for this, for this mini album, it worked really, really well. Okay, so that's the class to go for July. Registration is open. PDF option is there. You, there's option one with the bundle, option two without the bundle, option three PDF only, option four is for my first level downline. Okay, you have to email me for that link um, because per stamping up policy, I can't put that link online. Oh, Amazon, you're back <laughs> this day. This day is crazy. Um, okay, over on pinkbuckaroo.com um oh good they went outside they knew better over at pinkbuckaroo.com today right now is today's post has anybody checked did it go up um nancy go back and check the post before today's post and you'll find all the information on that class okay um hopefully today's post is already up um, you'll find this PDF under the last photo. It has today's projects, and it also has the Amazon guy's waving at me. Does he not see me making a video? I mean, I'm right in front of the window. <laughs> He's like, what is she doing? That weird lady talking to herself with all those bright lights on. Anyways, okay, so you'll find the things I'm going to tell you about right now. Here's the class. Club Create, that's my new club. I told you about it last week. Um, it's a subscription club, $39 a month. Every month we'll do something different. Your your class, nope, your club kit, different. Your club kit will have product in it, at least $20, if not more, in product and projects. And I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek of July's cr Club Create projects. Oh, it's a surprise. But as you can see, it is the jar of flowers. I know many of us already have this. This is this is a really fun, fun, fun kit, fun little group of projects. So if you're interested in Club Create, it is a subscription through PayPal. It, it just bills you or takes it out of your PayPal account once a month, $39. Um, you can cancel any time. I don't want anybody to be worried that you're locked in because you're not locked in. You can cancel any time. And if you don't know how to cancel a PayPal subscription, Google it, pops right up. Um, but if you stick with it for six straight months, then on that six month, I'm gonna give you $25 in product as like your, your rewards, your club rewards, okay? If you want that link, message me, that subscription link. And there's a blog post about this too if you wanna read all the fine print. The last thing I'm gonna tell you about is the tutorial bundle. We have a brand new team starting July. Um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, I've been doing these for, gosh, I don't know, are we on three years now? And there's 12 of us um, Stampin' Up! Uh, demonstrators. We get together and we, we now we pick a suite a product. Um, this month was World of Good Suite. And we each design a project and, and come up with a tutorial. Um, so you get this for free when you spend $50 with me online. Um, but you can also buy it in my PDF store for $15 in case you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator you don't want to order from me. You can just buy this in my PDF store, $15. It's 74 pages, I believe, this month. It's a huge, huge bundle. Um, 
My team always gets them for free, okay? If you buy the starter kit from me, that's one of the perks that you get this for free. There was something, okay, the other thing I was gonna tell you, so the new round starts July, which means the fourth option is subscription. Um, if you want these delivered to your mailbox every month on the first, like clockwork, you can subscribe. It's a different subscription. I feel, I know it's a little confusing because I have two subscription things going on right now. This is a class kit, really, that comes to your mailbox. This is a PDF only that comes to your inbox, okay? Um, when you subscribe in July, the first month, it's open now, but all of you have all of July. When you subscribe, you get the sixth month for free. So December would be free. You only are going to pay for the first five months and they're $15 a month. You can pay all at once or you can pay it monthly. Okay. So that's coming next month's, um, the first PDF bundle of the next round for July is, um, the peony set, the peony, peony, <laughs> you know, the flower that I can't say, that's the one. Um, all 12 projects will be the peony suite, okay? If you want details on that, there's the link right there. It's also day before yesterday's blog post. Just go back a couple of days and you'll find it, okay? Okay, check, 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 we are ready. No, no, I haven't done prizes. Where did I put the prizes? They were here. I put the stickers on them. Where did they go? Um, <laughs> I don't know. The price. Oh, or my iPad. My iPad's on it. No. Okay. Well, anyways, I put it on my blog. Who are the winners? And now I don't know where they went. Huh. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pull up my. Um, they're here somewhere. Let me pull up my um, blog post. So did anybody check my blog to see? Boy, I'm a mess today, aren't I? I'm a mess. Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you the winners from last week. And by the way, last week's video disappeared as it does sometimes, right? But I had downloaded it before it disappeared and so I uploaded it again. So unfortunately, if you shared it during the live, I didn't I didn't get to include that this week because um, it disappeared. So there, I chose from the shares of the second upload. Um, bup, 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 bup. My winners from last week are Sandy Perry. Sandy, I have your address. And Tiffany Weekly. You both won the stamp set from last week and I don't even remember what it was. Darn it, it's here somewhere. Um, anyways, I will get that out to you. Sandy, I have your mailing address, but Tiffany Weekly, Tiffany Weekly, I don't think I have your mailing address, so message me, okay? All right, this week, how about the Zany Zebras? Y'all know I love the Zany Zebras. That'll be the prize for this week if you share the video on Facebook. Um, I will enter you in a drawing next week for the Zany Zebras, okay? All righty. If you've never joined us for Facebook Friday before, welcome, glad you're here. Um, this week we're doing The Right Triangle. I hate that name. It should be something else, I don't know. Anyway, The Right Triangle Bundle. Um, I always pick one product, do three projects with it, and I type up this PDF for you. It has all the products that I'm gonna use, as well as down here measurements that you need, if you need measurements on any of them, okay? Um, and then the three things that I talked about, the host code. If you put in an order between now and Monday at midnight and you use this host code, it's here, it's here, it's also my blog post today, I'll send you today's projects for free next week as a thank you. Here is what they look like when they come. I do die cutting for you. Um, the only thing I don't do for you is the stamping, okay? That's not a stamped image, that's a thank you tag. See, I do a little thank you tag for everybody. Um, and I send them to you for free and they're fun. They're little fun kits that you get as a thank you. And so your order is just as long as it's $35 or over um, before shipping and tax and you use that host code, I'll send them to you for free. The other caveat to that is if your order is over $150, do not use the host code because then you're going to get those stamp and rewards that we talked about. Remember these? And I'll still send you the projects for free, okay? I will see your order even if you don't use the host code on those big orders. If you don't use a host code, I just assume you don't want the projects, okay? Um, sometimes I have that. So make sure if you want the projects, you use that host code. It'll, it'll pop up at the end. It'll prompt you. It'll ask you for that host code, okay? 
Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna move this up. It's way too low. And we're gonna start today with a 3D project, okay? I have barely seen y'all's comments. Your comments, that sounded very hick. I have barely seen your comments. I'm listening to a series, a book series right now that is um, has a, a British accent, which I cannot do, but like my internal dialogue now is all in, in a British accent. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? When I was watching Downton Abbey, that happened too. I can't, I can't, I can't even fake it, but in my head, in my head I can. All right, so let's get started. We're going to make these really cute, um, what I'm calling triangle pull apart boxes. And I designed the box to fit this triangle perfectly, okay? So you'll see it here. Um, let me show you the one that has the candy in it. Um, and I designed these with 4th of July in mind. Not that we're, many of us are going to be doing any fun parties for 4th of July, probably. However, you can save it for next year or you could maybe do like delivery to your neighbors or whatever. But anyway, don't be, don't feel like you're limited to the 4th of July because if you change the colors, you change the die cut, you change the sentiment, you could do any, you could do this party favor for any, any occasion. See how it pulls apart? It's like a little, I don't know. It's just kind of cute and magical. I thought about you know, connecting the triangles, but I really liked that pull apart, right? Those are red, white, and blue M&Ms, and they have completely derailed my eating this week. I should know better than to buy a giant bag of M&Ms. <sighs> Anyways, that's what they are, and this pulls apart like that. So then the ribbon slides on, and it'll hold it closed really together. All right, so 4th of July is coming up. Those were the colors that I chose. Um, but again, please remember, you're not limited to colors that I use. And this is a very generic uh, stamp set. So it could really go, you know, anywhere, any project, any occasion. All right, so let's see. I need my notes here. And we're going to get my Simply Scored, which, oh, here it is, right here. Um... All right, and I'm gonna tell you what you need. We're gonna make the navy one, the Knight of Navy. By the way, I did do clean recordings of these, so if you wanna come back to make this later, you don't have to go through all the nonsense of Facebook Live. You can go watch um, the clean recording on YouTube. It'll be linked, I think they're already linked, actually already uploaded them and everything over on YouTube, okay? Okay, let me get the right pieces. Why are all these different? Why do I have three different pieces? <laughs> One of these is right and one of these is wrong. Let's see. We need seven and a half by four and a fourth. And I'm thinking that's that. Seven and a half by four and a fourth. And I must have used that one to cut out the star earlier. Boy, Carla, you were right. Today is turning into a year. All right. Oh, please. Four and a fourth by, what did I say? Seven and a half. I moved Pepper to her bed, by the way, if you guys saw my, my post. My puppy was right here where I needed to stand. So I went and got her little bed and brought it in here. Okay, Whew. focus, Erica. Four and a fourth by seven and a half. On the short side, we're gonna score it at one. Then turn it to the long side, and you're gonna score it at three and a fourth and four and a fourth. You need to do two of these. These are gonna be the triangle pieces. One inch, three and a fourth, four and a fourth. Then you need a piece of um, cardstock that is seven by seven. And on all four of the sides, you're gonna score it at one and two. So really you could do one, two, and then six and five. If you didn't wanna do one and two. One, two, six, and five, or one, two, and turn, one, two, and turn, one, two, and turn. Okay. Now we're not gonna actually stamp the triangles onto the triangle box. It's gonna be a separate piece. So let me show you how to make the triangle box. It's really easy. Make sure you burnish your lines really well. I'm hardly looking, <laughs> Carla, there you are. My day is turning into a whole year as well. Ah, 2020. Oh, 2020 can see itself to the door. It has been rough. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut these two score lines, but I'm also going to cut these at an angle, okay? Both the center tab and the outside tab. Not over here, just here. Then I'm gonna get my stamp and trimmer and we're gonna do corner to corner. You wanna do from the score line to the score line, basically, on each side. So line it up here in your, in your um, stamp and trimmer, put the score line in that gutter, and then turn, 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 so that that um, score line is in the gutter as well. You can also, you know, get a ruler and make that line if that helps you. Um, but I've done this so many times now that I, uh, I don't need to do that. Okay, so there we go. It looks like a paper airplane at this point, right? All right, I haven't trimmed this one, but we can go ahead and cut it. Okay, like that. Am I frozen again, you guys? Oh no. <laughs> Angela says, it's take your dog to work day. Yeah, every day I take all three of my dogs to work. They're so funny. My office, craft room, whatever you want to call it, is about 12 by 12. It's not very big. And then I have cabinets all around the edge and this, this is like a kitchen island. So there's not a lot of floor room. However, the three of them want to sleep in here spread out on the floor. <laughs> during the day oh, so I am you know tripping over them um, okay good you see me oh, man. the internet's out to get me today and then my mom's corgi was here on oh, what day was it Tuesday so then I had we call her a big long loaf and she was spread across the floor too it was a crazy day all right now stamp and seal plus if you've ordered it please be patient with it it requires a little bit of retraining yourself. I really, really like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it on the outside of the center tab and I'm gonna do it on the outside of one of these other tabs. If you're having trouble with your stamp and seal or your stamp and seal plus, instead of doing the check mark like we used to do with fast fuse, flick it towards you. That helps keep that adhesive where it needs to be. Um, my friend Ange McKay told me that, and since I've started doing that, it works beautifully. All right, so I have folded that little tab in there. I'm gonna fold that little tab in there. And there's your triangle. Super easy. All right, so would you guys be interested in a new, all new adhesive kit? I'm wondering, I'm thinking about maybe offering that because we've got some great new adhesives that I would love for you guys to give a try. The um, foam adhesive sheets are amazing. If you love dimensionals, like I love dimensionals, you need to order those foam adhesive sheets because they're like giant dimensionals. They're awesome. All right, so here's the bottom of the box, the inside part. And Carla, you feel like it goes smoother than Fast Fuse? I agree, I agree too. All right, so I burnished all those lines. Now, for this piece, we're gonna cut out the three squares in each little corner, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, are these the scissors I wanna use? Okay. And first, I'm gonna cut all the way up to that second score line. Then I'm gonna turn it, and I'm just gonna cut off those two, okay? And then I'm gonna cut off this third one. Okay, so that this is a flap right here. All right, so cut all the way up. You have to concentrate so you don't cut the wrong thing off. Cut that one off and then cut this one off. I designed this box to have fold over. Okay, hold on, before I, before I start talking. These flaps here, you need to have them over here as well. So turn it so that you know which way to cut up in your lines because you might do it here and then that, that would be wrong. So on the opposite. I designed this box to have a fold over edges so that it would have smooth, smooth edges, okay? You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. 
All right, last one. It took me a couple of tries to get this box right. So I have done this about 18 times <laughs> to get it the right size. Um, so now I'm an expert. All right, so I always say when I'm making a video, oh wait, no, no. The other thing you need to do is cut the corners off of these rectangles, okay? That's just gonna help everything fit together a little bit better because maybe it's just me. I, I'm sure it's not just me, but when I cut on a score line, sometimes I cut on the left side of the score line, sometimes I cut on the right side of the score line, and that can make your paper, you know, too long, and then it doesn't fit. So if you cut those corners off, that helps make everything even. Okay, so now, if you were to watch the replay, you can pause it, look, that's how your paper needs to look. Okay, now, I'm gonna put adhesive on the outside of the four squares. Oh, see, I did the check. You're supposed to flick it towards you. It's very hard when you've been using an adhesive for many years. I mean, how long? Probably five years. Um, it's hard to retrain yourself to something new. But the Stamp and Seal Plus is really neat. It's segmented and I feel like it breaks off really, really easily when you need it to. Okay, so we put adhesive on the outside of the squares and on the inside of the rectangles. We're gonna fold up those squares like that and then fold this up and over. Um, that sounds like a good idea, Lori. An adhesive um, kit. All right, up and over. Okay, so I folded those over so that those edges are rounded and they look nice and neat and it's a little more sturdy. Okay, so there's your little, it's like a little tray. And then you slide these in like this. Okay, now when I was designing this, I thought what if I put adhesive just right here and this one was stuck so that it would pull, it would always pull out like that. But I decided not to do that because I think it's kind of fun that it pulls out. But you could, you could adhere one of them, right? All right, so there's the box. Now let's make, I'm gonna go way over time today. I just know I am. Let's make, do I need this? Yes, I do need these. I know what these are for. Um, let's do the triangles. So this is the largest triangle die. Did I clean that? Yes, I did red in the, in the video earlier today. As you can see, I did um, real red. Um, this is the largest stamp triangle. So I'm gonna use that and I stamped it on my grid paper so that I would know exactly where to put my paper. All right, and we're gonna do Night of Navy. Okay, good, I, I'm seeing you guys would like some adhesive. Um, okay, that's, I'm gonna work on that because I just really, really, really love the adhesive right now. All right, Night of Navy ink on Night of Navy. Uh-oh, let's move this. Night of Navy ink on Night of Navy cardstock. Going for that 4th of July, red, white, and blue. If anybody's watching who does not live in the United States, the 4th of July is our Independence Day. It's fun, it's right in the middle of the summer. We do fireworks and picnics pre-COVID. <laughs> this year, our little town, I live kind of in a little town outside of San Antonio, they've canceled our firework display. Sad times, sad times. Okay, now we're going to get our die cut machine, bring it over here. My husband and I actually, last weekend, we bought a boat and we are so excited because now we're gonna have something to do on the weekends. <laughs> you know, no, there's no Hawaii this summer, no vacation. We don't have a pool. The neighborhood pool is closed. So we bought a boat. We're so excited. But you know what? They ha it, We bought it at, you know, like a boat dealer, but they, we won't get it for two weeks because they have to get it lake ready. Does, does anybody know? That sounds so weird to me. It's gonna take them two weeks to get it lake ready. He says they have to put oil in it and run all the pumps and, and all we can, I mean, we are like twiddling our thumbs. We are so excited. We cannot wait. We have a lake, not too far, and it's going to give us something to do with the kids. Social distancing, right? Our little family, we won't be near anybody. I don't know. We're excited. 
Um, I meant to tell you guys too. Okay, so here's the box. And now I'm going to take these. The, um, the triangles are a little bit larger than the box, just a little bit. Okay, so just be prepared. It's not going to be exactly, but that's okay. It hangs over a little bit, which helps with that little gap there. Um, next week. So next Friday is the 3rd of July and my husband has off of work and hopefully we have our boat by then and we plan on being at the lake next Friday. So next week, Facebook Friday will be Facebook Thursday. All right. So if you have a, a reminder set, remind, remind yourself next week, it's Thursday, Thursday at two o'clock. Okay. Now pull that apart. Okay. See how that is? You can see how it's just a little tiny bit larger. All right. So there we have that. Now, all we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. I am using, was it Lisa that asked where this stamp was from? This is the Mini Mates stamp set, which is right here. It's a new celebrate. That's what I chose. Um, oh, I keep freezing up. I don't know why that is. Well, the good news is, is that the replay will, it records on my phone, so it'll all be there. No, Janie, we're not getting a pool. We went back and forth and I, I really, 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 really want a pool. But right now, everybody wants a pool. And we could have spent that money on a pool, but we would not have gotten a pool anytime in the next six months because the pool companies are like so backed up because everybody wants a pool right now. So we decided, because we wanted instant gratification, <laughs> we bought a boat. My husband grew up with a ski boat and we have talked about it for a long time and we just never could really get ourselves to pull the trigger, you know, spend that money. But it just felt like the right time. And the boat guy said that boat sales are through the roof because of COVID. And I saw a news report the other day saying the same thing. So we actually got their last boat. That's the last one they had, the last ski boat. Well, no, I take that back. They had one other one that was super expensive. Um, but anyway, so that's that. All right. Um, one thing I'm going to do, I made this bow a little bit bigger. This is the Playful Pets trim combo pack. I'm going to put a little bit of glue and stick that to the center of the bow. I don't want it to stick to the box. So I'm going to take a little piece of cardstock and just put it underneath that bow. If the cardstock sticks, that's okay. Um, cause you won't be able to see it. All right. So we're going to put this star. That's a stitch star from the stitch stars dies. And if we weren't making a video, I would set a block on that and let it dry. Um, but we're making a video, so we're gonna move on. This is a sentiment. I um, d originally did it on my stitched um, banner here from the Tasteful Label dies, but for some reason yesterday when I was prepping for this, I could not find that die. Um, so I cut out a scalloped um, rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. All right, I think I like the stitched banner better, but oh well. All right, last but not least, how about a few red rhinestones? You guys, I'm sorry that the internet's going in and out. I have no idea. We we have really good internet. I don't know what's happening. Um, but just that's part of the reason why I do those clean recordings too. So if it's glitchy and you are like, I wanted to make the project, but you were in and out and you froze, that clean recording is over on my YouTube channel, okay? And you will find it today just posted. There we go. What do you guys think? Aren't those super cute? I'm going to need to pour those M&Ms into the trash as soon as we're done because <laughs> I want to eat them. All right. Project number one done. I hope you guys like it. Super cute. It's totally different than anything I've done before. I've never made a triangle pull apart box like that. Love it. All right. Let me move this tray over here. I think, did I ever come back? I did. I said Thursday, right? Next week. Facebook Friday's on Thursday. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you guys. What was it? Hmm. I don't remember. Thanks, Cindy. That's so sweet of you. Um, you had a pull, Lois. Oh, I, you know, there's not many things I love more in the world than just floating in a pool with nobody talking to me. <laughs> Some music, floating. I, it's my, I think it's my number one favorite thing to do. So someday we'll have a pool. Hopefully someday. All right. Next, you know what, I'm thirsty, hold on. All right, next, pizza. 
You guys know when I, if you watched my unboxing of my stuff, one of the first things I said when I saw these triangles was, that looks like a pizza slice. So of course, I had to make a pizza. I don't do punch art a whole lot, but I was excited to do this. This is the one I did on the clean recording today. I realized that I had cut out, um, instead of the large triangle, I cut out the second largest, and it kind of actually fit a little bit better there on the thing, on the, the plate. So you decide which one you want to do. Okay. Okay. Let's make our pizza first and we're going to make the larger one, uh, but no space. Do I need that? Yes. I think I do need that. All right. Here's what you need for your pizza. I feel like I'm doing a, a baking, a cooking show now to make your pizza. You're going to need a so saffron stitched triangle, the largest or the second largest. You're going to need four uh, cherry cobbler um, circles. These are the smallest um, nested circle dies, layering circle dies, or if you have the one inch circle punch, one inch circle. The olives, can anybody guess, is the O from the playful, um, is that what it's called? Suddenly I'm, I'm blanking. The, hold on, I have it here. Playing with patterns, no. That's not what it's called. I'm gonna tell you the name. Play, no, Playful Alphabet. Yeah, it is playful. I don't know why it's playful, but anyways, those are the olives. Now I can already hear some of you saying, I don't like olives, ew. I don't want that on my pizza. And then the next thing too, look, little pineapples. I'm, I can hear you, half of you are saying gross. No thank you. Okay, that's totally fine, you guys. We're not really eating the pizza. <laughs> and I challenge you to go look at your punches and your dyes and see what you could use for toppings. I was thinking like a little flour would be a good little sausage, little, you know, sausage topping. You could make purple onions by punching a circle up the paper, you know, and making the little crescents. Um, what else is on a pizza? <sighs> I mean, you know, there's just endless opportunities. I probably would, I like this pizza without the pepperoni. I'm not a big pepperoni fan, but I do like pineapple. I know. I saw a, a news story recently where they were talking about how some people are like totally disgusted by that. So if that's you, sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. All right. We're going to stamp. This stamp set also has these texture um, stamps. We're not using any of the triangles here. We're just using the triangle dies, but we're going to use some of these texture stamps. Okay. And I'm going to grab the grid paper for my pepperonis. Um, the one thing about, I'm going to move these over. The one thing about these little pineapples is they're tiny and that die is teeny tiny. So if you use that, that little tiny triangle, be careful because it would be easily swept into the trash with your scraps. God, why can't I pick that paper up? Okay, now we're gonna take the little X's, the little stamp that's the X, X's, and we're just gonna stamp some little X's on our pepperonis. Okay. Cherry cobbler ink, cherry cobbler cardstock. Then we're gonna take So Saffron ink, and this time we're gonna take the little hearts. Um, you know how the cheese on a pizza <laughs> cooks, um, you know, it like bubbles, and sometimes it's, you know, different like colors. Like it, not not that it burns, but you know, bubbles up. So that's that was what I was going with 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 this. And then not only are we gonna do so saffron, we're gonna do mango melody also. We're gonna switch over to the little tiny dots. And yes, I know my mango melody stamp pad is super messed up. I stamped when I was making this saffron <laughs> into my mango. I need to clean it. You can scrape the ink off of your ink pads, you guys, and just re-ink. I just haven't done it. Weird, right? All right, so there we've got that. Now, one other thing I wanted to do to those pepperonis is to take a Stampin' Sponge and just go around those edges, okay? Ham and pineapple, Kathy, would be my very first choice too. That's my favorite. Um, I also like a veggie pizza with certain veggies. Um, onions, olives, mushrooms. I don't like bell pepper. 
and I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> I know that's weird. I like tomato sauce, but not tomatoes. Um, okay, so there we go. Now, we need to make the crust. So what we're gonna do to make the crust is are these two scalloped ovals. And then the, the funny part of this card, I think, is the words, love you more than pizza. These are from the love you more than dies that go with the stamp set called, mm, I can never remember the name of it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Love you more than, okay? And it's all in one. Um, and I have put that adhesive sheet on the back of my basic black cardstock so that when I cut it, that it then becomes a sticker makes um, adhering words so much easier. Black olives, green peppers, fresh tomatoes. Okay, Catherine, you had me at black olives, but you lost me at green peppers. <laughs> oh, Cindy, I'm good. I'm glad I'm making you think outside the box. You know, it's really fun for me. It's like a challenge to look at my, uh, my punches and stamps and dies to see what they could be, what else they could be. You know, it's like a little, little game. I'm putting this inside, the smaller one inside the larger one. I'm gonna cut that and run that through. That is crumb cake cardstock on that, um, those scalloped ovals, okay? All right, now let's pull that out. You don't need that one. You could save it for another project. We're gonna take the crust if you will. And we're gonna glue it up here. Come on, Tombo. Don't fail me now. There we go. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that there. Well, that's probably a little more than a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this guy and cut him in half. You actually get two crusts out of one. And I'm gonna glue that right there. Now, our pizza doesn't fit, right? So we're just gonna snip snip that, okay? Um, Let's see, I think what we'll do is we're gonna put everything on there, we're gonna give it some time to dry, and then we'll cut everything off, okay? So we're gonna put some pineapples, I mean, hello, pepperonis, some, that one's gonna be totally on, this one's gonna be kind of on the side, and this one's gonna be over here like that. Then let's get our black olives, and the black olives, this I thought later, I probably should have put the adhesive sheets on the back of that because um, they're skinny, but not too terribly skinny. All right, so we'll put that one there. Now you're thinking um, your stuff is falling off your pizza. That's okay. We're gonna trim it. <laughs> oh, Cindy, thanks. Well, good. I'm glad. Um, it's fun. It is fun. Definitely trying to challenge us, challenge me, and then challenge you. I want you guys, if you make your pizza punch art and you do different toppings, I want you to share it with me, okay? So we can have ideas, different ideas for our pizza. I also think this would be really cute um, if you did all the pieces to make the whole pizza, you know? Maybe a scrapbook page or something would be really cute. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. I need to close my ink. And this one, we're gonna set that aside too because we don't need it right this second. Now, when I started, after I made my pizza, I thought, okay, now what? What are we gonna do? And I thought, mm, what, what should, and then I thought, oh, a red and white checkered tablecloth, of course. Any excuse for me to use my Buffalo Check stamp set, I mean, background stamp. So Whisper White, Cherry Cobbler ink, and the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is, I guess I didn't need to close that after all, did I? The Stamparatus um, is, I, I think it's a must when you do your background stamps. It just makes those background stamps stamp so much better. And you need to stand up and put all your weight on it, get it all the way around, and then you can open it up and see like that. Can you guys see how I missed it there? Well. I could just set it back down and stamp it. Oh, I didn't even ink it. I guess I left the ink off. Okay, that's all right. We'll ink it again. Stamp Radis is, you know, helps you not make mistakes. Why isn't that not stamping? Is it because that's in the way? What's happening? Well, I guess they are both in the way. Okay, hold on. 
That's really weird. Huh. I don't know. It's like it's um, depressed or something. Like, I think maybe it was sitting on that magnet and it's just kind of down a little bit. Hmm. Oh, well. All right. Well, we are going to cut it down anyway. Hmm. I've never seen that happen. That didn't happen this morning. I hope, I hope I didn't do something to my stamp. Okay. Paper trimmer somewhere here. Let's cut it down to four by four by five and a fourth. Remember, you guys, pinkbuckaroo.com, print the PDF. It, it's free to everybody. I mean, it's, it's not something that it's going to cost you. It's a free PDF. has all the supplies listed and the measurements. All right, we want to cut that, that weird part off. I'm going to have to look at that in a little while. All right, four. Actually, you know what? It's not four. It's three and three-fourths by five. Okay. And five. There we go. All right. Now, I have a special tool over here that I'm going to use in just a second. I'm going to make sure it's still on. It's not a stamping up tool. It's something that you've never seen me use on a video. All right, Cherry Cobbler cardstock um, base. This time my fold is at the top, five and a half by eight and a half. And I wanted to make my pizza like sitting on a, a pan, right? So half a silver oval and then like the paper. You know, sometimes if you go get um, a piece of pizza from a pizza shop, they give it to you like on the, that paper, you know, like wax, no, like, like parchment paper. So I wanted that. So we're going to take the Whisper White Guard stock and we're going to crumble it up. All right. I'm sure you guys have done this before, right? It's super cringy, as my kids would say. Yeah, the Catherine, it looks like maybe it was resting on the magnet and I had my trays piled up. So hopefully the foam will expand back up. That's really weird. I actually leave that background stamp on that plate because I use it so much. <laughs> I don't even put it back in the case. All right, so once you've broken down your, your white card stock and it looks like maybe like a napkin, you have that. And I have ink on my hand, so now it looks like there's ink on there. I have this little tiny travel iron and I'm just gonna flatten it out. It's not gonna take the wrinkles out, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier to adhere, okay? Travel iron. <laughs> I've had it for a hundred years. I don't know. Walmart, maybe. All right. Now I'm going to take that napkin. I'm going to put it there, but I want to make sure that I put that behind. Hmm, let me see. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it a little bit like that. Okay. So we will put the half silver foil oval and then I'm going to put adhesive under all over the bottom. All right, so there's our napkin, but we need the scissors to cut off. Why do I keep losing things today? Good grief. And we're just gonna cut that off like that, okay? There we go, cute. <laughs> so fun. All right, let's bring back our our um, pizza. It doesn't look like it's totally dry, but this is live TV. We got to we got to move on. So I'm going to cut off that crust there, and then I'm going to cut off. I'm going to kind of get my scissors underneath that a little bit and trim off those corners from the cheese pizza part. Okay, then you're going to just take these and snip, snip. Snip. Oh, I hate getting glue on my scissors. Snip, snip, snip. Now, these toppings that you cut off, hold on to them because we're going to add them down here too. All right, so there's your piece, your pizza. So cute, so fun. I'm going to use some dimensionals to put this on. Oh, sorry, Kathy. Um, yeah, Nina, the old world embossing folder, the old uh, paper, what's it called? 
I know what you're talking about. Old old world paper, is that what it's called? That would be, a, that's a great idea to make that look wrinkly. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna take this. Um, no, I have one more over here. I'm gonna take this pepperoni and just put it, I wanted just like a few little toppings like hanging out over here, like they fell off. Because you know that's gonna happen. The toppings always fall off when it's hot. And we'll have that like that. And then we'll just trim that off like that. And last but not least, the title. Um, Love You More Than Pizza. Um, so I put the adhesive sheet on the back and now it's a sticker. And I'm just gonna set it here. I'm not gonna push it down yet. I want to make sure I get it in the right place. I like when I can peel this off and the white stays there. That makes it so much easier. Love you. Oops. There we go. Love you more. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, didn't work. That's all right. We'll get it off. There we go. Love you more than, and you know what would be funny on the inside? I was just thinking if you put a piece of Whisper White on the inside of your card and stamp, you know, like the little cheese textures that we did and then maybe add a pepperoni and a pineapple and an olive inside, that would be cute. All right, love you more than. There we go. This would be a fun card for your kids. I think my kids would laugh at this. They would think that's funny. Last but not least, I couldn't leave it alone. It had to have a bow. So this is the Playful Pets twine, um, part of the trim, Playful Pets trim combo pack, the black and white twine. This is, we don't have very much twine right now. And I'm, I'm having a hard time because I use twine constantly. So, Y'all are gonna get sick of seeing this twine. I like it. All right, and there you have it, pizza punch art. Look, I think, how many pieces would it take to make a whole pizza, do you think? Eight, six, I don't know. I dare somebody to make a whole pizza. It would be so cute. It would make a cute little, like a, like an art, like you put in a frame, like in a kitchen, that would be cute. Put a little, the, oh, put, Love you more than. That would be cute. Hmm. Very cute. All right. So let me clean up. We've got one more project and it's very, very different. It's a card and it's very different than this. Three o'clock. Man, this is the third week in a row that I have run over. Chatty Kathy. All right. Let's move these out of the way. This next card is um, what I am calling... A geometric ombre card all right um, so I decided to do it's funny I started playing with this and I wanted to make this card in every color so I'm going to show you I did two other colors but this one I like the fiery red um, so you're gonna need one two three four die cut um, triangles on each side and then we're going to stamp a teeny tiny baby triangle so this is I'll tell you the colors in a minute but here's one in purple okay and I've listed the colors over on my blog today so you'll know if you want to make these other ones gorgeous grape highland heather purple posy highland heather ink um this one in the blues night of navy misty moonlight um seaside spray and then seaside spray ink and one thing I did here is I have five triangles here, but over here, I, on both of these, I only have four because there wasn't another purple that would fit well in this scheme. And then, as you can see, this little tiny baby triangle, you can hardly even see it anyway. So it's probably best to do just the three and then the one stamped. All right, all right, let's make it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this. I've already done most of this work ahead of time. All right, where are my triangles? I wanted to make it in greens, and I wanted to make it in yellows, and I wanted to make it in purple. Well, I did purple, but the, you know, um, Blackberry Bliss purples. 
I didn't have enough time. All right, so let me tell you also one thing that I discovered when I first started making this card. I started with the biggest triangle and I found that this, um, if you do two of these, they don't fit on the card front. So you can't use that unless you make a bigger card. Um, so this is the second largest and down. Um, and this little tiny one is another one that is easily lost. That's the little tiny one we're gonna use to cut out this, the um, stamped image. All right, so the two largest are real red. Then the next one is uh, Poppy Parade. And then we've got Calypso Coral, which I would not have thought, but it looks good with this. Calypso Coral, Poppy Parade go really well together. Um, and then we've got Petal Pink, okay? So you, you wanna cut out two of those. I have a piece of Whisper White that I have used the Tasteful Textures embossing folder. Is that what it's called, Tasteful Textures? Uh, let me double check. Hold on, hold on. Yep, Tasteful Textures and Bossing Folder. It's hard when there's a new catalog. I can't remember everything. Um, so we need to stamp. There's no, there's no uh, stamp that matches this teeny tiny die, but that's okay. We're gonna just stamp this one and we'll cut it out of the center, okay? It'll still work just fine. It's just giving us some texture and pattern on our, um, on our triangle. I'm suddenly not seeing any comments. I hope I'm not off the air. What a weird day today has been. All right, so let's move these over, 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 over. The other thing I'm gonna cut out is the thanks. This is from the well-written dies. Again, I have put the adhesive um, sheets on the back and I left a little space because I have found when you cut something like this, it's nice to have a little space to be able to peel it off. So if you cut, you know, cut it apart and kind of put just a tiny space there, it helps to peel that adhesive backing off. If you're like me and you struggle. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do this. We've done that in petal pink. And we're gonna do that, basic black. You could change the sentiment, of course. You could, um, you know, stamp a sentiment on a skinny sheet of cardstock. I'm going to do that one. Run it through. Okay, good. Still here, Patricia. Thanks. You know, once your Facebook Live freezes up, you like become totally paranoid. Totally paranoid. Okay, we are done with this guy today. Um. I think, did I tell you guys? The new die cut machine that's in the catalog, pre-order for demonstrators in August. So excited, it's coming, it's coming. Another reason to buy the starter kit, right? Then you can order that pre-order early. All right, so let's get this out of here. See how that left that little space? So it'll be easy to get that adhesive backing off. But first, let's layer up, nope, let's layer up our triangles. And <laughs> I was I was making sure that I um, put them like this so that I had them in the right place, but then I realized as you turn the triangle, I don't think it really matters which way you put it. I don't, I don't know, I'm not a math person and this is geometry. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Um, but just to make sure I have them in the right place, I, I went ahead and put one upside down. And put this one, oh, that's so pretty. These are warm colors. I don't know, I don't think my mom is on here today. Warm colors and cool colors. Something that she taught us. All right, petal pink. Petal pink. And then last but not least, I'm gonna have to use a little dot. Oh, here's Emma, the dogs are gonna bark. Maybe she'll go through the garage. They'll still bark. All right, that goes there and that goes there, okay? Now, if you turn this, I mean, there's all different options, right? You could do like that. You could do like that. I mean, you could really just do like anything really, but I liked them both going, um, <laughs> wait a minute, like this. 
okay? So if you're a geometry person, I'm sure you understand all the turning and then there's names and all that. All right, let's see if she's going to come in that door. I tell them, don't interrupt my Facebook Live. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> That's Pepper. Hi, Emma. Hi. Do you have fun shopping? Yeah. Good. I'll, I'll be done in a minute so I can come see what you bought. All right, her best friend's mom took them shopping. There we go, okay, dimensionals. Now we're gonna take this off. We're almost done, we're almost done. This, and I need to get those out right there. I don't have my take your pick tool, I know. So I'm just gonna use my piercer. And sorry if the my dogs disrupted your dogs. I know when my dogs go off, it makes dogs all around the world start barking. All right, this is a piece of vellum, three-fourths by three and a half, I believe, but check that that PDF just to make sure. Now, I'm wondering if you guys used Fast Fuse. Fast Fuse didn't show through vellum, and I haven't tried it. I think I might try it. What I did on the other ones, I was gonna show you. Put a little glue here, doo -doo -doo, and then get a little sponge like this, and doo -doo 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 all over, okay? But let's try this and see if you can see it through. This is the Stamp and Seal Plus because Fast Fuse was really good. You didn't see it. Hmm. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, the little lines. Well, not too bad. Can't... Oh, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> Use the Tombow. All right, let's put this. I had to try. I mean, you gotta try, right? You gotta see. And we're gonna do this on a Whisper White card base with more dimensionals. Nina, you thought stri strips of paper? It is different than the first one, is it different? Oh, it is different, it is different, you're right. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're right, it's different. All right, I meant to do that. <laughs> I meant to do that. Oh well, that's cool, right? That still looks neat. But look, I like this better. Hmm. You know, that just goes to show you. What's that called? There's a name for that where you rotate shapes and stuff. Somebody, who's on here? Who, who's a math person on here? Somebody knows. Yeah, this is, a, this is one of the bundles you can get for free in your starter kit. That's right. Smart, smart lady. Um, yeah, and Teresa, there you go. I tried it out for you, the adhesive. <laughs> All right, so warm colors, cool colors. I don't know, could we do it with yellows? Probably, we have bumblebee, duftal delight, so saffron. You could do greens for sure, my goodness, we've got a thousand greens. Um, you could do it like black and gray. Ooh, that would be good, black and grays. Yes, so many options. You could even do rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, maybe? I don't know. What do you guys think? It's a fun card, right? It's um, it's much simpler and much cleaner in design than the pizza. They're both cute. They're both different. Okay, we made it. I'm only 12 minutes late today. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with me today, you guys. Um, I hope you like these cards. I hope I have convinced you that the right triangle is the right choice for you. Did you hear what I did there? Um, it is a bundle and make sure if you're going to order it, make sure you use the bundle number because you save 10%. If you enter the stamp set number and then the die number, you're not going to save that 10%. Make sure you use the bundle number. Okay. And to get the free projects, you guys, you can order anything you want. I, I don't care what you order. Just as long as I see that it's, uh, with that host code by Monday at midnight, over $35 and I will send you the make and takes for free next week. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, stay safe out there. Uh, let me know if you have questions and make sure you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com to get the PDF, links to clean recordings, details on everything else. And I will see you guys next Thursday, Thursday, Thursday at two o'clock. All right. Bye guys. Have a great weekend.